Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE on your Mac operating system. So first of all, make sure you have Java installed on your Mac operating system. So if you are not sure uh, whether Java is installed on your Mac operating system, you can just open uh, your uh, terminal. And once the terminal is open, you can just write Java hyphen hyphen version here, which is going to show you the version of Java which you have installed. So uh, I'm assuming that you already have Java installed on your system. If you don't uh, have Java, I will just put the link in the description of this video so you can see that uh, video and install Java. Once you have Java installed, you just need to open your favorite browser and search for eclipse.org or just uh, search for Eclipse. And the first result which you will see here will be uh, eclipse.org. So just click on this link and uh, you will be able to see this kind of window. Uh, so now I can just uh, click on the download uh, button here, which is going to show me uh, this uh, uh, window. And here I can see the latest version right now at the time of making this video is Eclipse IDE 20-09. So I'm going to just click on this uh, download button here, which is going to redirect me to this page. So you will see uh, the mirror, which is uh, nearer to this, the location which, where you are located. So you just need to click on the download button, uh, which is going to start the download of the DMG file uh, for the Eclipse. So just wait for this download to complete. And once this uh, DMG file is downloaded for the Eclipse, you can just click on the DMG file and let me minimize the browser also. It's going to open uh, uh, this uh, DMG file and you will be able to see this kind of window. So now we just need to drag this Eclipse icon into the applications folder. So just select this uh, uh, icon. You can also click on this icon and uh, you will be able to see more information about uh, this Eclipse uh, installer, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select this Eclipse installer, press the command key, and then drag this to the applications folder. So once you have copied uh, this Eclipse installer into your applications folder, you can uh, go to Launchpad and then click on Eclipse installer, which is going to start the installation of Eclipse. You can also minimize this window. For the first time when you start uh, the Eclipse installer, it's going to show you this message which says uh, Eclipse installer is an app downloaded from internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I will just click on open button. So now I can see uh, this installer. Here you can choose different kind of uh, Eclipse IDE for uh, your uh, usage. So you can see Eclipse IDE for Java developers, Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java developers, uh, C++ developers, JavaScript developers. So, so you can see uh, Eclipse has support for many uh, different languages and it has support for many different technologies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this option which says Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And once you click on this option, you will be able to see this window. And here uh, you can see uh, Java 11 plus VM. This is the location where my JDK is located. So Eclipse has recognized my Java installation. That's why I have asked you to uh, install Java uh, and it's the prerequisite of installing Eclipse IDE. And this will be the installation folder on your Mac operating system. So just click on install button and then click on accept now. This is the license terms and conditions. So I will just click on accept now and it's going to start the installation process. So I'm going to just wait for the installation to complete. It's going to complete relatively faster. And once Eclipse IDE is installed on your Mac operating system, you will be able to see this launch button. So I'm going to just click on the launch button which is going to start the Eclipse IDE on your Mac operating system. So for the first time when Eclipse IDE starts, it's going to ask you to provide the location of the workspace directory. So just leave it as default. If you want to change it, you can uh, change uh, the location of this workspace. 
but I will leave it as default. Also, I can use uh, this option which says use this as the default and do not ask again. And then click on uh, launch button which is going to launch the Eclipse IDE. And now I can see uh, this Eclipse IDE window. So I will just maximize it. So now let's create a new project using Eclipse IDE. So I'm going to just click on uh, file, then new, then uh, Java project. And here I'm going to name my project as a test for example. And by default you will be able to see uh, the Java uh, GRE environment and uh, all the other uh, settings related to GRE. I will just uh, leave everything as default and then click on next and this will be the project uh, folder structure of my project so just leave it as default and then click on finish and you can see it's asking me to create this uh, uh, java module module hyphen info dot java I don't want to create this module so I will just say don't create and it's going to uh, create a project for me. And then I'm going to just uh, click on minimize option for this welcome window. So I will be able to see my uh, project, right? So now what I want to do is I want to uh, create a new package inside my uh, source folder. So I will just uh, right click on the source folder and then click on package. And the package name, I'm going to name it as uh, com. Uh, code bind for example you can name it uh, anything or any name of your choice and then click on finish and then let's create a class so right click and then new class let's say this is a test class and if you want to create a public uh, static void main method then uh, you can check this checkbox I will uh, just uh, write this uh, by myself so I will just uh, uncheck this checkbox and then click on finish option. So inside this test class I'm going to just write public static void main and then I'm going to just uh, write uh, system dot out dot print ln for print line and then inside the parenthesis I'm going to just uh, write hello world okay and then close uh, this uh, parenthesis and once this code is written I can uh, run this code by just clicking on this run button because when you click on the project option you will be able to see that build automatically option is already checked so it's going to build your code automatically so I can just click on the uh, run button here which is going to run my application and show me the output which is hello world in my case right so this is how uh, you can uh, uh, create a new Java project in your Eclipse IDE you can also uh, resize uh, and you can also reposition your uh, t terminal window so let me reposition this terminal window at the bottom uh, you can drag and drop this window anywhere in your Eclipse IDE also, if you have closed your Eclipse IDE, you will not be able to see uh, this Eclipse icon in the launch bar. This is the icon for the Eclipse uh, installer, not the Eclipse IDE. So by default, if you have uh, selected the default path, you can uh, go to your Eclipse uh, IDE uh, location by just clicking on the go uh, option here. So just click on go and then navigate to the home folder. So just click on home here and inside the home folder you will be able to see the Eclipse folder and then the Java folder and then you will be able to see this uh, Eclipse application here. So what you can do you can just uh, drag this uh, Eclipse to the applications folder. So just press the command key and then drag this uh, Eclipse icon to the applications uh, folder which is going to uh, place this uh, into the applications folder right so now once you uh, click on the launch pad you will be able to see this eclipse ide and then from here you can click on the eclipse icon and then open the eclipse ide from the next time 
So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video.